Hi, I'm Richard Shockley from the Virtual Bowling Academy, and here's our tip of the week. Hi, uh, today's tip came from our Facebook community, one of my good friends, and he was asking me about tape, Coach. As you know, bowling tape comes in different varieties. We have white tape, black tape, and a new kind of tape that just came out on the market a few years ago, which is a protective tape. A couple of companies out there have designed some really, really unique products, and I want to show you what it looks like on my thumb. It comes in different textures, different colors. Uh, this is the gray one and the green one. This one has a little bit stronger texture than the brown one or the gray one. And as you can see, I put this on my thumb. It's very, very important that when you apply this cover tape, you put it on the end of the nail and you stretch it back across your thumb. Now, is this to protect a problem that you've already developed on your thumb? Maybe so. But realistically, most of the professionals and bowlers around the world that I talk to use this before they bowl. And that's because they bowl in long formats, many games, just as something to protect. Now another thing that came to me from my friend on my Facebook page was do you use this type of tape on your fingers? Most cases no, but a lot of high level bowlers have finger grips. Actually they don't use finger grips, their fingers are drilled very, very sharp or bare holes. And if you think about that, if you've got really, really sharp finger holes, you have to cover the tips of your fingers so you won't have a lot of wear and tear. Okay, so that's about cover tape. You can find it on the market. I'm kind of old-fashioned. I've got the roll type and I like to cut it myself, but uh, if you want to go in your pro shop, they're pre-cut, really nice, and you should use it when you have to if you're going to bowl a long format or you're having a little trouble with the back of your thumb. Okay, let's talk about our thumb tape with the other styles now. There are two types of tape that we've been using in bowling for, for many, many, many years. Uh, back in the old days, what I used was black electrical tape. Uh, a lot of you old timers like me will probably remember it wasn't pre-cut like we have it today. It was in the old black roll of the electrical tape. And we used to trim it off and put it in the back of the thumb hole. Now, you've heard me say back of the thumb hole. I've had a lot of my students come and say, Coach, I use black tape. I said, well, that's great, but I use it in the front of my thumb. And I said, front of your thumb? That's really, really not what we want. We like this other type tape that I'll talk about in a second. What we're looking at for the black is to go to the back of the hole, the back of your thumb hole, okay? So we want this to do what? We want it to take up some room, okay? If your thumb's a little bit big, close that up with some black tape. And generally that's all we want to use this for. Now the rule of tape is there's no rules. And I can't dictate what you like and feel as to how your thumb is, but that's up to you. But generally, working with a lot of the pro bowlers, my days at Kegel, black tape was on the back. Now, the most predominant tape that we see or we don't see is white textured tape. It comes in different sizes. You used to have a half inch uh, do you still have a three-quarter inch and a one inch? For me, I like to use the three-quarter because I have a medium-sized thumb. Now, the big guys, you got the big daddy thumbs, you might want to use that one-inch tape. So if you really look at this, it's really, really textured. I can't tell you how many of my students take a lesson and in the first four shots, they drop the ball dead on the foul line. Boom, drop, drop, drop. I look at the grip, I look at the thumb and everything in the fingers. The thumb is gigantic, too big. What do we need to do? Do you ever use white bowler's tape? And the student will go, what's that? I don't like the feel of that. I like just the feel of my, my, my insert or my slug. I always carry white tape and I said, let's do this. Let's try it. Let's put it in here. Okay, it's very simple, but you got to be very careful. You have to have your knife or something really sharp. You know, the companies today have your own little tools that you can use, but I like to use my little Swiss Army knife. That's 20 years. So all you do is you always have to remember, a lot of bowlers don't even know that the round side or the curved side is up. It's on the top of the thumb hole. So what you're going to do is you're going to set this on here, and I'll demonstrate for you in a second exactly how we're going to put it in. Okay, we're going to get you a nice tight close up. So be very, very careful if you're dropping the ball and you really need to get some good pressure on the thumb hole, but don't squeeze it. You want that tape in there to help give you what? Give you feel. Bowler's tape is about feel. You know what you should do? You should go to the YouTube show whenever uh, 
Parker Bone was bowling in the championship match against my buddy Jason Couch. Type that in there, plastic ball tournament last year. And look what happened to Parker in the final match. He couldn't get his tape right. If you'll watch that, it's a great example of why it cost him the title. And he admitted it after it was over. Couldn't get my tape right. Couldn't get my feel right. You see the great Norm do whenever he's in a championship match, he may change his tape or move it out two or three times. So my point is, this is an important product. If you were to go around and look at all the top bowlers in the world like I've been able to do, 95% of bowlers use this. If your thumb swells up, of course, you're going to be in trouble. Then you can take your tape out. If it's very, very cold and your thumb hole doesn't have but maybe one piece in there, what do you do? Add a couple of pieces. You never want to be in a situation where you can't get your thumb in and out with nice feel. Okay, let's talk about how you put this tape in. Okay, let's talk about these two types of uh, tape that we've got. In my ball, as you can see, I've got many, many layers of white three-quarter tape. You know, I like to have my thumb hole real snug. Uh, without this tape, it's going to be obviously a little bit too loose for me. Okay, so what I like to feel is when I go in, a nice firm grip where I'm not pinching the ball, but I have my thumb nice and flat. All right? Also, I like black tape, but not very much. Remember we talked about this uh, three-quarter black? It's very, very important that when you use this particular tape, you got to get it in the right spot where your thumb lies in the hole. So you really want to grip the ball normal. And you can see my cover tape is matching up here. Just put this right where it should go. Okay? It'll match right down there behind your thumb. Enough about black. You always want to be careful that you don't stack your tape up too much. What I'm saying is it's one on top of each other, just flat. You want to layer the tape. So after you put your, your base piece in there, about a quarter of an inch from the top of the hole. Then you take your second one, you go a little bit further. Third one a little bit further. Maybe the fourth one. Maybe the fifth one. Hey, wait a minute. The fifth one? What do you mean five? What's the right amount of tape? That depends on you. I've had a lot of pro bowlers say that they need five, six, seven, eight pieces of tape. Is that wrong? The rule of tape is what feels the best for you is going to work. Okay? So there you go about tape in the bowling ball today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Get a good feel for this game. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this week's tip. For a personalized lesson, you can send your videos to me at Richard Shockley's virtualbowlingacademy.com to help you take your game to another level.